Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Ruin Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. So, we're here. Finally in the winter, we can actually make progress, do things, and let's head outside and listen to the music. I love this music. It is actually really great. Now, white grass, pure and ephemeral. This grass often goes unnoticed in the snow. We are going to ship this one. I can mark that off my list. Now, I'm gonna take care of my chores for the day. I'll see you in a moment. It's an ephemeral style. A melancholy town where they never a smile. So while it is technically not just the first day of winter, we're not going to be doing a lot with what day it is. It's actually Laura's birthday. I plan on going to make her her birthday gift and give it to her, but that's really not my priority today. Okay, let's do this after all this time. Hey, Mist. Mist? I've never been here before, it's so beautiful! Look at how pristine the water is! This would be a great place to bring a date, don't you think, Raguna? Huh? Uh, I guess. But it would never do with all these monsters. If you say so. You know, Raguna, sometimes I just don't get you. You don't get me? Say, this cave is called Misty Bloom, right? Part of it's the same name as mine. Isn't that kind of strange? Do you think it might have something to do with you? Nah, I doubt it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna head back now. Watch yourself. I guess there's no point anymore in asking her why she's always in the new caves I go to. Alright. Oh, I almost forgot. You can only enter this cave in winter, so if you're in there for a long time and it turns spring, I won't be able to come out. Exactly. So keep a careful eye on your calendar. I suppose if you had the teleport magic book, you'd still be able to get out even in spring. You can even buy Toeboard at the library. Okay, toodaloo. Okay. So here's uh, one enemy. I think these are high orbs. And we just got cheap cloth. High orc. HP 122, attack 72, defense 14. He can both critically hit you, and all of his attacks are water-based. Should you tame him, he'll harvest crops for you. If you defeat him, he can drop cheap cloth or quality cloth. The crappy drop. Alright. I'm just gonna break this. There we go. So, it has been an age and a half since I've taken on these dungeons. The Skyfish. HP 107, attack 68, defense 11. His attacks can inflict seal. They're water-based, and he can cast the spell Water Laser. Should you tame one, they'll water your crops for you. If you defeat them, they can drop Fish Fossil, Water Crystal, and Blue Crystal Seeds. I haven't, you know, really been able to practice any of this, of course, and so I'm kind of behind on it. So this will all be kind of new to me, in a way. I haven't played this game in probably four years? Or this part of the game in four years? Arrowhead. Of course. The Orc Hunter. HP 216, attack 69, defense 19. Its attacks can paralyze, so be careful. Should you tame them, they can harvest your crops for you. Should you defeat them, they'll drop arrowheads and earth crystals. And I, of course, got paralyzed. Okay, uh, oh wait, no, I do have the paralyzed seal item. I was like, oh, I guess I don't have it on me. Cool. Saves me energy. I'll deal with clearing fields and all that later, but for now, 
We're just going to focus on making progress. Oh. Ah, just so spooky. <laughs> All right. I'm actually just for my sake going to bring up the map I had made up. Just to be sure I'm not passing by something I'd rather, you know, make note of later. Okay, yeah, I believe I did pass something up, and that's why I was checking. I'll take care of that in a moment. I'm shut in! Hitodama. HP 132, attack 70, defense 3. His attacks are all water-based and wind-based. He can use water laser as well as sword storm. Should you tame them, they'll harvest your crops for you. And he has no drops. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we're not dealing with you. <laughs> yeah, those things are a total pain, and they're kind of a unique enemy in that they don't actually pop up in other Rune Factory games. Shira. HP 113, attack 74, defense 13. His attacks are wind-based. He can seal you. He has a water laser skill and life absorber, a dark ball that will absorb half the damage he deals. Should you tame one, they'll water your crops for you. Should you defeat them, they can drop fish fossils, water crystals, and agua elements. Mind you, this also isn't a picture of them. This is actually a picture of the skyfish. I just couldn't find a good one online. <laughs> a version of them does, but it's not a weather cloud like these ones are. That one's more of like a, uh, how to put it. it is, the other one's name is Eris, and they're kind of like the descendants, I guess, of those ones. They're purely wind-based though, not water-based like these are. So it made actually kind of researching them kind of a pain. Okay. Shadow Panther. HP 117, attack 78, defense 12. His attacks can critically hit. Should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant for you. Should you defeat them, they can either drop wolf claws or tech bottles. Ah, Shadow Panthers? There we go. I'll deal with getting the drops I need later. For now, you know, just make steady progress. Tricky Mush. HP 173, attack 95, defense 14. His attacks are earth-based, and they can poison you. Should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant for you. Should you defeat them, they can drop poison powder. Ooh, tricky mushroom. I'm trying to face you. There we go. Oh, a level up. Nice. It's actually proving that these guys actually have a decent amount of experience, because I haven't leveled up in a Well, I have leveled up recently, but... It took a while. I'm now level 84. Uh, there's still enemies on the screen, so I'll go figure out where those are first. Scorpion. HP 110, attack 66, defense 15. His attacks can critically hit you, they can paralyze you, and they can poison you. Should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant for you. Should you defeat them, they can drop pretty skin and scorpion tails. Oh, yeah. Scorpions, of course. And of course I would get poisoned. I believe I was smart enough to bring one, yes. I knew I'd be fighting in here, to some degree. Okay, I believe... Yeah, this is where I'm thinking of. Uh, these actually aren't windfish, if I'm remembering correctly. That's actually Shira, an entirely different enemy that looks very similar. <laughs> Once again, I'll actually clear these later and get the resources I need, but for now, you know, just grab a few of these items. I might need them later, after all. There's, of course, fishing points, water everywhere you can gather uh, water for your watering can from. This is actually a great place to grow crops if it wasn't yeah. shut three months of the year. Yeah. Now, there will be one more here. Neat. 
and the boss door is officially open. Okay, um... Yeah, you know what? I don't think it's a... yeah. You're not just in the boss battle yet. As you may have noticed, I've been showing off monsters in the little, like, Monsterpedia bestiary thing I do. So, we're actually going to be going to fight the boss. Let's do this. There's no doubt about it. Something's definitely there. You think so too, Mist? Yes. I think you're right. You better stand back. All right. The Siren, HP 1300, attack 74, defense 13, magic defense 10, fire defense 80%, wind defense 15%, earth defense 30%, and a complete immunity to water damage. When she attacks, she can attack with two lasers at first, a paralyzing song, and she can heal herself. Partway through the battle, she'll start summoning Hitadamas. And should he defeat them, she can always resummon them. When she's enraged, she can fire a water laser that actually fires four beams. Like most bosses, she will not drop anything. And also, like most bosses, she is untamable. Alright, so she swims around down there. Oh, and she came up on the opposite side, of course. And she'll summon up these guys. Um, I want to call them Hitadama, but I don't fully remember their name. So I'm just going to dodge this guy rather than trying to use magic or anything to take him down. Now I got him with my sword, cool. Oh, I have to swap over to my sword with this. Um there we go. And I got paralyzed because of that. Well, eat one of these. That's why I have the medicine. Done. Siren is down. That boss is not that bad in this one. In later games, when she pops up, I hate her. She's absolutely awful, and she was a run killer in Rune Factory 4's original edition for me because I was doing one damage against her every hit. It was awful. I uh, don't didn't have that issue in Rune Factory 4 Special, but that's because I had gotten myself so overpowered that nothing really mattered anymore. Whew, that takes care of that one. Are you okay, Raguna? I've been through worse. Say, how's your memory? Have you been able to remember anything yet? No, no luck yet. Well, I'm sure it'll come back in time. Yeah. So, there was a monster here after all. It seems so. Do you think something big is going down? I can't be sure, but perhaps. Rikuna, isn't it dangerous to go any to any more caves? It's dangerous, but if there's something going on in our world, I can't just ignore it. You know, Raguna, you're definitely different than most people. Really? Whatever you used to do before you came to our town, I bet it involved a lot of responsibility. Well, I wish I could just remember. Do you think if your memory comes back, you'll leave this town? I'm not sure, but it doesn't seem we'll have to make that decision anytime soon. Oh, right. Well, I'd better get back. Okay. Alright, that is another cave down for all that waiting. But we did it. Um, I won't bother saving. Instead, let's see, can we get one of the items here? No. Oh, there we go, Aquamarine. That's all I actually wanted to mine out of that spot. So, I'm actually going to clear the fields a little bit and try to open up the next cave. You guys will be sticking around with me because it has been a while and you know, I just want to talk to you guys. It's fun. Well, I have this one open down here. I figure I'll just use these for energy while they're here. 
it's probably going to be something like a hundred tilled squares or something. So I'm going to have to figure out how many of these that is. That is a six by six, so that's 36 squares here. I'm probably going to cut around a little bit, just so you guys don't have to watch all the boring stuff, or maybe I'm just speeding this up while I'm talking. Who really knows? Just so you know what I'm up to, and you know, you can follow along if you want to. Otherwise, you're just kind of, you know, using me as background noise while you're playing, which is completely understandable. Alright, I'm actually going to head out of the cave from here. I can always come back and finish this up. I guess I'll take care of these last couple branches, but I'm about out of energy. So let's head to the bathhouse and also give Laura her birthday gift. Sometimes you can find treasure in places like these. I've never actually seen any myself, though. Hi. Pop is a brilliant doctor. I'll give him that, but why does he want to live here in the middle of nowhere? Pop doesn't tell me anything. That makes me even matter. It's been a while since I've seen that dialogue. I'd like to take a bath. And before we actually take the bath... Hey, it looks like you survived! Correct? I'm actually in a worse shape just because I, you know, decided to go clearing up fields there. If I remember correctly, they are open today. Perfect. Raguna, recently you're... you're more... how do I put it? Fierce! go, we got a single piece of chocolate. Right, did you hear about the Stolwar's Chalice from Sabrina? What is this Stolwar's Chalice? It's an ancient treasure, Sabrina's family. Legend has it that a couple drinks spring water from that chalice. On their first anniversary, they'll be happy for life. But I don't know for certain whether that's true or not. After marrying her, I put everything into making Sabrina happy our first year. But I could... But I... But I could that happiness have been caused that chalice... Well, okay, whatever. Um, then, the day before our anniversary, I took the chalice out to the bar in town where I drank all night long. What happened? I was drinking by myself at first and was getting happily drunk when a strange girl came in and sat next to me. We both got drunk and ended up drinking from the chalice. I felt bad about this, and as I was thinking about leaving the bar, in walked Sabrina. She took the chalice and banged me on the head with it. I don't remember anything after that. The next day, she moved out. Maybe that's why Sabrina moved to this town. I see, so where did the chalice go? Apparently, she threw it away somewhere. I asked her many times, but she never told me. So you came to this town because you were worried about Sabrina? I was worried about both Sabrina and Nicholas. I wanted to be able to help out if anything happened. So I'm living clo close by. So that's why you're living here? Well, I didn't tell any of this to the townsfolk yet, but I felt I could tell you, Raguna. You're a strange one. Alright, we're going to take a piece of chocolate, a milk of any size, a piece of butter, and a flour to make the chocolate cake once again. This one's not for shipping, though. This one is a birthday gift for Laura. Who I have no idea will where we'll be right now, so, you know, I really wish I had some kind of mini-map to find her. Um, apparently she's right down here. Cool. Hello. You're always running around, aren't you, Raguna? It's good to see you in such good health. And now, one chocolate cake for your birthday. Thanks. Thank you, I'm so happy to get this chocolate cake today. It's my birthday. And while I think about it, Let's read Roll Booty. We don't really need to read this because we've already read it before, but apparently I need to read a book every single day to try to get Tori's affection up. I don't know whether it matters if she's here or not. It's better than Seal or something. Okay. I guess I hit A one too many times. Chee chee, Gabe. I make mistakes, it's fine. Alright, I'm actually going to leave the cave real quick. I've cleared this one field. I'm going to go talk to the people in town, see ab about how many spaces I need, and see if anyone has unique dialogue. I can go into people's homes and things, so it shouldn't be an issue seeing everyone. 
Misty Boom Cave was a pretty cave, wasn't it? It'd make for a great date spot if it weren't for those nasty monsters. Good evening. As I thought, it seems like there's some kind of activity among the Empire. I wonder if they're what they're up to. Also, I've stopped saying sex and just started saying Empire, so, you know, it's just... It's just a weird word and I don't feel comfortable. Picuna, what do you think of Mist? Just between you and me, I'm pretty serious about her. Yeah, okay, we've seen this. Yeah, I guess his dialogue was literally just saying about the treasure thing. You always come and talk to me, eh? It's not like I'm gonna fall for you or anything stupid. I like the sea. Sometimes I come here to look at the ocean. Sometimes I hope to see a prince riding a dolphin come to sweep me away. A dolphin? Is that strange? When I grew up, I want to marry Cece. Say, do you know how to propose? Are you supposed to give them a present or something? Hey, Regina, what's it like to have a father? So I guess a lot of these people just don't have anything to say about me clearing the cave, or they just won't say it because I talk to them after hours and their way they're coded is weird. But, you know, whatever. I guess that's not too important. I'll just head into Misty Bloom and start clearing it out. You know, I hadn't even really thought about the music until now, but it's very underwater feeling. I actually kind of like it. So, I believe these fields are six by six. Yeah, they are. Which means I'm going to have to do this like four times. Or maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I only have to do this twice. Cool. I wasn't sure how far that reached or what kind of shape it used. So tomorrow we'll probably finish this off. Skill up, nice. Alright, I'm actually going to call the episode here. So today we did it. We beat Misty Bloom Cave. We've cleared out the fields a bit. We're going to finish tilling the soil that we need to and move on to the next cave. Tomorrow we're probably just going to... Honestly, we might just go through the next cave tomorrow. We might just head in, actually start clearing out some of it, and call that good? Um, the reason being is that, yes, I do have things in Misty Bloom I need to do, but we, it would be easier if I had better tools. So if I were to wait until I got to the later dungeons, got the tools, I could actually easily get all the items I need from like the rocks and fishing and everything. Then, uh, guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. We'll be doing just what I said. See you then.